let me show you an early look at a more advanced admin scenario to help author PowerShell scripts for bulk operations. Now, this is useful where performing specific tasks in the admin center at scale might be too manual or in cases where the control is not available in the admin center. For example, as part of my Microsoft 365 Copilot rollout, if I want to enable restricted SharePoint search using a list of allowed sites, which is only possible using PowerShell, I can prompt Copilot with, how do I get the SharePoint online PowerShell module, then enable restricted SharePoint search using a CSV file with allowed sites using PowerShell. And Copilot will use the Microsoft 365 admin documentation and PowerShell reference guides so that I can save time by not having to look that information up myself. And notice that everything is formatted so I can easily parse what the commands are doing. And I just need to change the placeholder values for the URL and file path, and I can run what's presented. Okay, and just to prove that it will work, let's test it out. So these are the commandlets that we just saw from Copilot with updated placeholders. So I'll go ahead and run it. You'll see there are no errors. Now I'll get the status of the feature. It's enabled. Then get the list of allowed sites. And there they are. 